meditation, but we are just having life problems because I forgot this thing. <laughs> So how, how do you take your focus from the car, that is the one thing you want, to just be happy and your happiness actually brings you the car. So um, she, she asked that question and what we, we, we saw is that if you ask what would the car do for me, then you get the good feeling but you don't focus on the car, you actually focus on what the car would do for you. So if you want the car that when you stop at a robot, people forget the robots, people forget their lives and think, what? Oh my goodness, that's the most beautiful car ever. So you want the attention. So you think, oh, it will feel great to have that much attention. It will feel great to feel this way. So if you're wearing a watch like that, you feel great to look at time in that anger, that, you know, with that, and, and, and you focus on that, and then it makes you feel good, and then all of a sudden you're not focused on the watch, you focus on the good feeling, and the good feeling now, immediately, almost immediately, you start getting things that are making you feel that way. Three, four days, you need about 72 hours of that thought to be so pure and not interrupted by any drama. So drama is you saying, oh, maybe the wash is too expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe the car, oof, I, it's gonna take me 50 years. I'll, I'll, I'll have to go into retirement before I can drive back. So that's the drama. But if you, you just focus on the, how it will make you feel good, how will you see yourself in that robot and how great you will feel, you will never have a reason for the oh wow it's never gonna happen because it's already happening mm -hmm. when you feel the feeling it means it's already so your mind doesn't know that it's not happening your mind thinks it's happening mm -hmm. while it's actually not happening yeah. mm -hmm. so um the meditation that we're gonna do is gonna help with that it's gonna help us to allow the money to flow so it's all about the fact that uh, we also just talked about the whole thing of tax and, <laughs> and, and increase of that and this, that these things are not for our, it's not a negative thing. It's a positive thing to give. So if you give through tax, then that is it. Because um, the example that we just looked at is that when you go to church and you're giving, you go to give with a cheerful heart. You jump up and down, you take your money to the church, to the pastor, to whoever you're giving to. And you're never going to say, oh yes, actually if I didn't give that money, I would have bought myself jeans, I would have bought myself this and this. You don't go back to it. But when we give to tax, we actually count that money and we're thinking, my man, I could have, I could have done something about, with that money. So, but the thing is that it's a flow. The fact that you get the money into your account, it's not for, your, for the money to stay in your account. It's for the money to go out again and get you what you want. And when you give, you actually get more. Every time we give, we gain more. So when, I mean, let's just take someone who bakes cakes. Baking cakes takes, baking a cake, I'm, I'm just going to estimate that it takes you maybe four hours and then the ingredients that you've bought maybe you've bought ingredients of about 120 but if you're going to sell this cake for six, 700 rand you see you gave for four hours and 120 you gave it what? 600 rand so giving says that you will gain more so if you give 43% of tax with cheerful hearts Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what you're getting back. Yeah. But 
But if you don't understand it, then you can't get it. Mm. Because it's all in the understanding. It's not in the doing. It, doing doesn't count. Yes. Understanding matters the most. Because you can actually understand without giving any it's a win more. So that is what we're doing today. We're doing a meditation that will allow the flow of money to you easily for you to actually understand that money is an out goes out and come back to you all the time. So it doesn't matter how much you have in the bank right now. It's not about that. It's about how much are you willing how what things are you willing to bring to your life. Mm-hmm. So it's not about the money. Okay, so we're gonna start. Hi guys, I see you already there. <laughs> so let's 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 do this. I, I I think we have just one person that has just come through, but she will get a seat easy. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna just um we're gonna turn a little bit the music. I hope you guys can hear it there. Okay. So get you stuff comfortable.
supported and maintained by the church city. So everything in your body just allow it to totally, totally relax. And take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in. Bench. Take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And in and out. I'd like you to walk up to this little girl.
peace is everything. So, anything you'd like to share? finding fault in ourselves and I mean when you look at your higher self everything is okay you don't need to I mean lose weight you don't need to do anything you don't need to hi sorry you were late (laughs) oh no it happens to the best of us so do not kill yourself for it Really, really just like, it's okay, it's okay. Now I know where it is. (laughs) It has happened to me also, so I know what you're talking about. Sorry for being late. So, and when you... The the, 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 the one important thing... um, What is it that I wanted? Okay, anyone else want to share? (laughs) I don't remember what I wanted to to ask you guys about in the meditation. That's something that I wanted to ask. Anyone else want to share? Yeah, with me, actually she said to me, man is like me. It's, it's great. Wow. Huh? You see? <laughs> that's powerful. That is so profound. Yeah, like, that's it. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> oh, okay, so I wanted to ask you guys. So when you, when, when you were... Uh, Deciding how you want to feel about money, what you want money to be to you, what came up? For me, it was that I, I want to be in sync with it. That uh, what my higher self told me to me, I had to say, you can't. So I just wanted to be in sync. To get it, to like get it. Get it. Yes. yes, yes. What else did you guys get? For me, it was this, the yin and the yang. And I saw um, my higher self getting together with money like that. And the money just went in and came out of me and in. And I just said I wanted to be exactly right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Did you say something? For me, it was actually not just about money. So my higher self said how I, how I 
treat how I treat part of my life is how I treat my life. Okay. So like not so the how I've been treating my life is the reflection of who I, how I've been living. Yes. As opposed to just money itself. Yes. So and my money like although I have stuff and savings and things like that, I tend to have money like this. Mm. But I always like at the lowest it's just yes. <laughs> And yes. the price is high. Yes. So it's, it's never like... It's stable. Mm. Well, maybe you don't need it as stable. Maybe that's mm. not the issue. <laughs> maybe the good thing is that you know that it's going to come back. Come back. Yes. And that's just the feeling. Like, it's going to come back. Mm. 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 So, for me, I got... Um, so, so I've done this meditation before. I can't remember what I got last time. But today I got that. I wanted money to be like my gym exercise. <laughs> and I was like, what? He was like, why? So, you know my gym exercising, I, I, well, I used to stress about, you know, um, how, many, how, uh, how, how much am I weighing now? You know, my, my, my blood, you need this fat percentage, my what, what, and my what, what. You know, I used to worry about that thing. And, and I worry about, I mean, the calories and all these things. And then I would worry about it so much that I would actually stop the, the gymming because I'm sure the scale has said something else that I was actually expecting. So when I was asking how I want money to be, so now the current gym that I'm doing, I mean, my personal trainer has asked me like a thousand times, go to the, I think it's this game or something, and weigh yourself and get the blood the the fat percentage and this and this so that we know you know we know where we, we, we are and and in my heart I know that I just want to feel strong mm-hmm. because that's only the only thing I want and you know obviously my my body is changing my clothes are fitting in different ways you know all that is great but I re- actually don't care how much I weigh oh yeah. you know <laughs> Um, the yes, yeah. but what I'm doing is just that I'm maintaining that every day and I do the exercises. So every day is I'm telling him you need to be here every day for four days a week. I am going to exercise and I feel stronger and strong. So when I ask how 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 I want money to be, and I'm not a person who's into budgeting, who's going to sit down and, and count every cent and, and no. do all those things. Um, it freaks me out and I, I don't know if I would ever get it, you know, to be like that. But now my exercise routine, I don't measure the numbers, but I just measure how fit am I. So now I can do a hundred babies without, with, with taking just two uh, 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 breathers. When I started, I would only take five babies, and I'd be like, no, let's do this yeah. thing. But now I can do 100, which means that I'm strong. When I'm hiking, now I can, I, I think I've, I've improved my one, this one distance with about 30 minutes, because I'm quicker now, and I don't feel, you know, the heart palpitations and all that. So, if I'm going to take money as my current exercise, it means that I don't have to count the cents yes. and, and, and things, but I just have to keep on a daily basis doing what I need to do. And that is okay, because actually I enjoy it this way. I don't have to count yeah. the scale, the scale. I don't want to see the scale. Because the scale, you know the scale can really upset you. I know. <laughs> it does. The scale is so upset. But when you can do 110 babies, you feel like I've achieved everything in the world. When you know that before you were doing night. So, and I don't have to ch- check the scale anymore. So, that's what I got and I was like, wow, I love that. <laughs> Definitely, I'll, I'll take that. Yes. Let me and money work on a daily basis in a fun, nice way. Not checking each other too hard. Yes. Not judging each other for anything. Because when I'm not checking my blood, my, 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 mm. My fat percentage when I'm not checking, I'm not judging myself. Mm. I'm only celebrating because I can do one extra, yes. <laughs> one extra um, squat. Yeah. I mean, I, I was just checking the other day. We would we, we did so many squats, and I've I've never done so many squats, and I was doing them actually properly. I wasn't even trying to cut corners. And I was like, wow, I'm really doing this right. <laughs> but I wasn't judging myself because I can never fail. Mm, when yes. I'm not looking at the numbers and counting yes. all these things, but I'm also just yeah. enjoying it. So, 
That's 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 what I got, and I thought that was really relieving. Yeah. That you know, I don't know if you got thinking that I need to put everything into this money. My whole entire life has to be about money, but also I don't have to ignore it. Yes. I am doing it. So you could ignore Jim and be like, I'm not even gonna try it, yeah. or you could do it the wrong way of traumatizing yourself. Yes. Oh, you can do the middle part, which is just enjoying it. Yes. <laughs> Whatever that comes. So yeah, I got that. So, and then what was the other thing? How you want to feel about money? Yeah. So that that's the ease, and they just yes. it's okay. Yeah. Yes. Um. If it's up, it's up. If it's down, it's down. Yes, because it comes in and goes anyway. So where, where? Why am I trying to go down? Yeah, because if it's down, it means it's going out. If it's up, it means it's coming in. So they should be up and down then. <laughs> yeah, there should be then that flow because then if it's if it's if it stays the same, it means nothing is happening. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yes. So because when it goes out, it means that it's bringing. So you so you pay to rent. You buy a dress. You 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 take yourself to the movies. So it means when it's down, you actually have gained. When it's up, it means that your value has been valued because it comes from you doing something for someone. So it, it when it comes in, when when you get paid, is someone saying thank you? You've worked for the whole month for me. Maybe someone saying, "Well, I think you're just great. Here's money anyway." Yeah. <laughs> or it's someone that you've done something for them. Yeah. So it means when it comes in, it's saying, "Hi, value. You are so valuable." When it goes out, it means that you're getting something. Because it, why will it go out? It can't just go out for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because I mean, if your money is going out of your bank account, it's going somewhere. Yes. So it means you're gaining. Yeah. So why can't you accept the gain? Because really, truly speaking, if even if you can't meet all your bills, you're still getting stuff. Yeah. You are getting stuff. Other than that, just don't get stuff. Then, then, then your life is stopping, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't take a bath because you refuse to pay for the hot water. <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you, then you can't go to work. Yeah. I mean, if you don't pour the petrol because you refuse to take money out, then you're not going anywhere. Then you, you can sit at home. So if you don't have money because you've paid petrol, then it's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. It's close. So Baba Nas says, um, I fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was <lying> down. <laughs> probably, she says, I wanted money to be my best friend. Wow, even when I don't see her, I know she's there. Wow, can you believe that? We don't need to talk every day, but we are in sync. Yes. So the falling asleep happens when your body is not used to being relaxed yeah, yes. so when you don't meditate for, for often mm-hmm. your body is always in that mode of yeah. doing 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 because when you meditate it's not like sleeping meditation is really deeper than sleeping yeah when you're sleeping your some of your body still is doing stuff but when you're meditating you put everything to still so then if you sleep it means that your body is just shocked like what <laughs> sure there's actually so much peace and joy in this world why are you putting me through my so- through so much so so Baba, don't worry you will keep doing it one day you will shock yourself you will just <laughs> not fall asleep so if you do fall asleep it's good if if you did not fall asleep, then it's also great. So it, it doesn't it, falling asleep is actually good. It just shows you that it's working. Mm-hmm. So it shows you that it's working. So how was your mind? How was your mind? How was it popping everywhere like you yes. were? <laughs> <laughs> so so what was happening when you what what, what you would think of your tea at home and come back? Um, no, I was thinking of something that's really very really valuable. Yeah. Yeah. So I tend to care a lot about things. Okay, okay. To get things right, too. That's what I kept on thinking about. Am I getting it right. now? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> so yeah. here we were, trying to meditate, and you were trying to get it like, am I yeah. working correct? <laughs> am I working yeah. correct here? Yeah. Am I doing the right thing?
everything. So I stop. My so, breathing, right? Yes, <laughs> my breathing correction by taking the breath in. Yeah. But you know what? That is okay because now at the beginning you're doing that because you are not connecting with this trust in you. Mm. Because the thing is, oh, mm. sorry, babes, yes, the, yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, the moment you trust that if I'm breathing or not breathing is fine. Yeah. So you will then find the thing of saying, oh well, who cares if I'm breathing? Yeah. Who cares if I'm not breathing? Then all of a sudden. I was telling a lady yesterday that I was coaching, she says that, um, you know, we'll see, what do I do with my kids? They don't want to wash their turkeys. They don't want to wake up in the morning and open the windows. They just like, why do they do this thing? Why can, how can I tell them to do it? You know, I'm like, and I'm like, how? So, do you think it bothers them that their turkeys are dead? Do you no. think the smell bothers them that you think they should open the windows? So, who, who is the problem here? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it's you who's worried, right? Yes. It's you who is mm. saying, it's like they should open the windows to make you happy. Exactly. They should yes. wash their tickets to make you happy because they have their tickets and they yeah. don't care their tickets are dirty or So, let them do their thing. If really it bothers you, the smell, close the door and let them sit in their bedroom. That smells. <laughs> because they really, really are okay. Yeah. And, then she, and then she says, okay, okay, I see that. I never thought of it. Then she says, my then, but was then, then, but was when they start to cost me now. So this yes. one, he comes back from soccer. He opens the water, sits inside the bath without bathing um, and just relax in the water. Okay. Sit there for two hours and until the water is cold. <laughs> take it out, then you it's for the It's like you see now they are costing me now. Now yes. what do I do with that? Because I understand the puts, it's their puts, is there is there. So so he's like so I'm like, so do you love your kids? He says, Yes, I love my kids. Says, do you want the best for them? Yes, I want the best for them. So I'm like, you know what? Actually, I actually understand why he does that because I do it also. When I have had like the toughest gym session, I need to sit in the water for the one hour and until the water is cold. And that thing will change your life. Because you're feeling your body is so sore, yeah. that water is so calming. So I'm saying, would you rather have a son that come back with an aching body, mm. not take the bath to calm himself mm. and make himself happy, and then be a grumpy child mm. that doesn't want to study, that mm. can't do anything, that is just so grumpy because mm. when I, you don't know. So which one do you think? A grumpy son that is yeah. doing funny things? Mm. How much does it cost you a, a, a bath of food? Co compared to a child that needs to go to therapy now yes. <laughs> because he's traumatized. <laughs> so he's like, oh no, he, he can have as many <laughs> So you see the problem. Yeah. You see you, the problem is not yeah. him. Let him be. Because if you understand and you take care of yourself, you understand that him sitting there is good mm. because it makes him feel good. So, whenever people do something, whenever you miss something, it's not for anybody's whatever. Let it be. Let it go. So, if you are walking the wrong direction, hey, you're still walking. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you were breathing three, when we're breathing four, it's fine. The question I was doing, as we were saying, breathe in and out. That's when I'm breathing out and I'm breathing out. Like, yes. Let me just do it. Say, God, do it. Just, yes, because that so feels fine. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. what we can do, I'm doing it wrong. Like, it exactly. Is. So, and the moment you get out of that, I'm trying to fix it, I'm trying to fix it, that's mm -hmm. when you gain the actual thing that you want to gain. Mm -hmm. So, whatever that is happening, as long as no one is dying, even if someone is dying here, those people are not here for you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's their time to die. Let them die. So, do not worry about things that do not matter. Nothing actually matters. Not, only your happiness. So, are you happy when you're trying to make things perfect? No, no. You see? So, that's, that's how you know. Am I happy trying to make this thing work? No. So, you walk. You just keep walking. <laughs> you just keep walking. Because that's the best thing ever. You will be surprised how much life will be better. And one other lady, she, she said, you know, I, I, at my home, I'm the one who, if something has gone wrong, I'm the one who's going to make sure I 
I mean, if there's there's a funeral, I'm paying, I'm doing this, I'm doing, I'm the person who does everything. What, I've got brothers, I've got sisters, they all work, but no one actually takes the... Yeah, to just like, let me, they, she's there, she's like, this thing should be done, this thing, I'm paying for this, I'm paying. She's sitting up, she's like, boss, I'm so much dead. You know, these people, they don't think of me. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm like, I, I'm like, so, do you actually give them a chance to do that? Mm. Why chance? They never do anything. They just, okay, okay, so what do you think will happen if you don't do anything? Mm. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do anything. So I'm like, let's let's try that. Let's try you not doing anything. So then there was a Christmas that was coming up. So in Christmas time they all go home. So everyone brings their kids. They all go to their mother and father's house. Now even the parents have learned that this one mm-hmm. is the is the strong one. Even if the mother or father have extra stuff that they would like to give to the kids, they will say, I know about They are okay. Let's give the other. But yeah, now sometimes she would actually say, "I right." So she told them that yeah, now she's fine. Don't give me nothing. So the father and mother will have stuff like nice things and will give the rest of the people and leave her. That means these people, these people are doing to me. Okay, so I'm like, okay, so but then you told them, you told them that when are you okay, you don't need nothing from them, let the others that don't have, have. You know, if you have something small, give it to the rest of them. Let's, let's fix these people. Mm. So, I say to her, let's, let's practice get this December, so you're going to go home and you're not going to do anything. So no matter what will happen is that they're supposed to come, so probably 24, 20, 25 is, is Christmas. So 24, they're going to be there. So she will bring all the food for the whole family to eat. Oh, no. People come with their wives, people come with their husbands. She's the one who's providing. She taught them to do this. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying this December, you're going to start to let them understand that it's not going to happen. You're not just going to drop them because they're going to think, you know, don't be a bitch about it. Oh, by the way, I'm down with you people. No, you're not going to do it that way. But you're going to start to induct them to the new you. So you, we treat, we, we, we teach people how to treat us. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying to her, no, so now what you're going to do is that you're going to create a WhatsApp group. Put everybody in that needs to be there. And start to say, hi people, this December, you know, let's, let's, let's um, bring more stuff. I don't have yeah. enough like yes. I normally do. So please bring in some, mm-hmm. some, 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 some stuff for the 24 and the 25 and the 26. So she did that, I think around about November. No one thought she was serious. So they just be like, oh wow, oh, oh, oh. 24 come, she comes with nothing. Everybody came with nothing. So they all sat that day and looked each other in the face. And at about 8 o'clock, the brothers went up and said, no, 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 we're going to go and look for food. They yes. went and came back with food. They all ate at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> but they ate. She's like, huh? We ate, but it was 11, but we ate. <laughs> they came with the food. December. There was no food. There were also some plans were made. They all had Christmas and it was actually fun. There was not much because she didn't bring all the groceries she normally brings and the cookies and the what what. But they actually had a braai and then pap and meat and, and coleslaw and it, it worked. She's like, hi, this life I'm, I'm going to start enjoying. <laughs> yes. Three months later, somebody dies. I think it, it was a cousin or something, but someone that she would have actually bought the coffin for. Some, you know, people who don't have yeah. what, what, what. She's, I don't know. She said, oh, now it has happened. Now this is, that. what do I do? I said, you go to this family meeting and you shut your mouth. Mm. When they say, who's mm. going to enjoy? We are too loud. We are too loud. We are too loud. Why am I going to go to this meeting? No, is this person your person? No, you didn't bring this person to this world. I mean, if it's your child, then you can talk. She went there, she said, I sat there, and it was so hard sitting there, and they kept doing all wrong things, and for some reason, the funeral happened. Yeah. I only popped out 1,000, because everyone was popping out 1,000. Yeah. The rest, I don't know what had happened, because they ended up even not telling me that like, other things are just this they are happening. She's like, you know, it's such a relief, but all of a sudden, I feel like, I'm not powerful anymore in this family. <laughs> because so what she was doing, she was buying the power yeah. all the time that yeah. she's gonna be the boss bossing mm-hmm. everybody around because you know she's giving. But she's like, now g- going forward, then 
people started asking her, are you okay? Don't you need some help? She says now the father calls her and be like, I'm going to send you 200 in hold. And she's like, ah, yeah, you, you, you shall take the 200. What's your problem? So she'll be like, no, 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 take the 200. You need it better. And be like, yes, you shall take the 200. So now people are starting to give her. They for me, they like, ah, I mean, something is wrong with you. Yeah. Can we help? Yeah. Can we help you? She's shocked because she never, ever, ever was it. She said, like, it feels so good for people, for your parents to actually want to give you something. She's like, I don't need the money, but they're giving it to me. And it, it, it doesn't even, it's not about the money, it's the love. Yes. I feel the love that they love me. I, I, I totally thought they don't love me, these people. But she was the one who was giving them money instead of love. So now, she's not everybody else. Uti now they love her most because she arrives with her BMW with two packets of tomatoes. They are so grateful. They are like, wow, you bought tomatoes. Wow, wow. Why, <laughs> Why before she would bring the whole boot full? No one will recognize. They will just take yes. and go. Uti and she's center. Mm, yeah. So, actually, we suggest to share this because now that I spoke with her and I said, okay, to you are know, supposed to do the, what is the, what, what has been the most difficult thing for me to do, why, since I've been introduced to this work, is, you know, it's the most difficult thing for me to do as a I've been so much in control of everything, yeah. and it has been a mission yes. for me to just let things, you know, I yeah. remember when things fell apart like us, and I could not do anything, I felt like, I was going to die. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I realized, but really, I'm just holding on to something that is not there. Yes. And while I'm, I'm actually imprisoning myself, mm. thinking the worst, yeah, and yes. it, it never happens. Yeah, go. Yeah. And it never happens. It never happens. So why I was afraid and wanting to, because now the reason I wanted to be in control, I want, I did not want things to fail. Yeah. Yes. You know, and when things. When I actually failed, when I literally had owned up to that, do you know what it is? I yes, failed. yes, it's actually, done. Actually, I did not fail. Yeah. I got my freedom. Yes, yes. because all of a sudden, I, I don't have to do anything about this drama. Mm. Then it's not my thing. Exactly. <laughs> I really was busy creating all this drama, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, so... That's yeah. Yeah. Mm. So letting so go is the biggest, biggest, most important thing. When you let go, you, you free yourself. Yeah, that's true. You free us because really, if you let go, you will live tomorrow. Tomorrow will come up. The sun will come up and shine so bright. <laughs> we know that. So, yeah. So, 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 when you sit and and you're doing your your mind work, your meditation work, just I mean, you go, don't don't worry if it works. It works. It doesn't. Hey, no one is gonna die. <laughs> And I promise you, when you don't care, that's when it will work. Yeah, yeah. Because also, it's different for different people. Mm. Even you, how you get the messages. I get messages from talking to someone. I can go out here and talk to a, 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 a security guard. I get my message from a security guard. I get most of my message from yeah. drunk people. Yeah. Like, speaking <laughs> to drunk people, I get so much revelation. I mean, from all the people that people don't recognize, yeah. that's why I get my messages. And I know I need to talk to those people. Hence, when I'm in downtown Johannesburg, I, I really want to talk to as many people. Yeah. That's where my angels are. And I know. So, that, and, and another person gets their messages when they're sleeping. Mm. Another person, they hear them, you know. Mm. So, it shouldn't be how, yeah. a certain way, allow it to be how it wants to be. But, when you... Think so when you think your mind is going all out, all all over, don't worry about where it's going. Just show it where it should go. Like you were saying, seeing now we were talking, saying do this, do this, do it. So we're showing the mind where to go. So that's the most important thing. Just just let it be where you want it to be. All the other stuff, the technical bits, throw them out the, the, the window. So guys, let me see what. The people online are saying, because, oh, they've been writing stuff. Uh, Kile says, for the past two days, I took a conscious decision to relate different to money. Oh, yes, that's nice. Tandiwe says, 
says, since I read your book, money has been coming to me from all angles. Hmm. Hmm. We love that. <laughs> Kileo Hile says, money is my new body. It follows me. It has become part of my routine. Each time I, I stand to go make a cup of a cup for me in the kitchen, I invite money to accompany me. Wow. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I I. I cannot walk or do any activity without her presence. Even when I sit down to watch my favorite show, wow, she sits on my lap. So she's really, really aware. Yeah. She's taking the awareness. So the awareness is also very important because then you are aware of how you're feeling about money. And when you're feeling good, it's perfect. Yeah. Then Daisy says, Mina, I got interrupted here at work, shame. Sorry, Daisy. I even went to the toilet, but I can't. I'm glad that I managed to start the process with you. So, Daisy, don't worry. You, we will save it. You can get home and, and take the time and do it again. And it, you will know what? Whatever minutes, two seconds, whatever. Whatever that you, you say. We are so lucky because when we do the sessions, we do 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes is enough. Doing mind work is more work than any work you can ever do. So five minutes is a whole lot of time and, and effort. So it always counts. Takane says, this is the easiest meditation I've ever done. Yeah, you, you are a pro. Wow. She, she's a pro. That's why she's been doing this for Takane. How long, how long have you been in there? <laughs> we click on your group, she's chilling at the kids. This is like me. Like I'm it's easy. <laughs> She says, I lost a connection and decided to switch on my meditation music and continued my meditation. Um, I felt so relaxed and, and fell asleep. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, so you could just connect. Why well, you've connected again and, and, and check also the recording. So thank you so much. Anything else you want, do you want guys for us to take the phone? Let's check out one more thing before we switch off. Yes, but I just want to add this, the, 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 what we spoke about earlier, about the watching, what you really want to concentrate on the feeling. Yeah. Now, going like the next day and the third day, yeah. do you still <coughs> attach the feeling to, let's say, like the watch? Mm. I usually want the watch. Mm. And they, but you know that the watch is going to give you the beauty, the, maybe the, like, as you say. Yes. But, then the following day, because now the first day I'm conscious, which okay, I'm doing this, but I want the watch because it's going to give me this feeling that I'm contracted to the feeling. Mm. The, all the other, just to keep the awareness mm. of that feeling, mm. how, how, do, how can one... So, it? doing it once is enough. So asking once and, yeah. and, 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 and appreciating the feeling and feeling mm. that good, what would the watch do for me, is enough. Okay. So, but anyway, on a daily basis, you're supposed to keep your vibration high. Okay. So you could keep your vibration high anyhow. With, with anyhow, with your 68 seconds, with any other exercise. Okay. But if you want the watch, so like I was saying, you think of, a of the bag, you don't think of the bag again. Yeah, you just yeah. thought of it once and you thought, I need that bag. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the bag will come to you in three, four, five, six, seven days. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to keep going back. So it's like you pray to get God. I need money tomorrow. You God, I need money tomorrow. <laughs> when is this gonna? When is like when do you understand that God has given you the money? Yeah. So doing it once is good, but on a daily basis, that is why we say on a daily basis you must do your mind work to keep the vibration high. Yeah, so then the things you want, they are making way to you. But when you are in a high vibration, they get to you. Okay. So when you want something but your vibe is low, you close the door. So the vibe that is high is, is it keeps the door open. So for instance, maybe at the, yes, today I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow, for whatever the reason, you, know, you are not. It's got nothing to do about it. It's got nothing, it's got nothing, about nothing about the, of that. It's already, I'm, I'm, I'm already blocking, like blocked, like the one day. Now it's only a day. So the, the one day doesn't count. Okay. So if, so let's say she asked for the watch. Mm -hmm today and then for the next 10 days she's happy okay so that is a good thing mm -hmm. so she can get the watch in 10 days 
Let's say she asked for the wash today, tomorrow, and three more days she's sad, and then mm-hmm. she's got two days of happiness, and then she's got four yeah, days of sadness. Yes. She's got two. So it will probably take three months. Oh, okay. But she will so get to the wash. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you don't mind us. Okay. It's just that you were putting so water. Nice. You put five mils, you put one liter, you put mm-hmm. five mils. You put okay. 10 liters and you need to fill up a 50 liter. Okay. So it's not like you're withdrawing, you're just mm-hmm. adding, adding. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter how low, how many times low you okay. are, it just matters when you are high. Okay. Okay. So it's not like when you're feeling bad, then you should feel like, oh, no, I've messed up <laughs> everything. No, you don't take it back. You don't. But let's just say then you keep. The, the, the sadness for a whole year yeah. then it's a problem then you know what you are attracting yeah. <laughs> so you are attracting the more the sadness mm. so, so, and, and, and the other thing is that when you feel sad, ask why mm. when you have drama in your life that is currently happening so one lady said to me you know Musi, um, well she's been having this thing she's not sure she wants to work she, does, she wants to start a business you know, she's this drive. so she's, she's still going through that but then she sent me a message to say, you know, this week, my boss told us that we can't park on the undercover parking because that is only for executives. And I had such a confrontation. <laughs> and I'm like, how? So why when you can't park in the parking lot? Why you want to be parking in the parking lot? What? No, that's not right. What do you I'm like, okay. I'm like, so there are the people that were packing there before. It's like, yes. Did they come out? She says, yeah, they went out and they didn't even complain. Like, well, what's wrong with them? <laughs> oh, yes. And it's like, what's wrong with them? Like, why, why are they not? Um, I don't know. Because this thing is very wrong. I mean, yeah. So I'm like, no, actually, they, they don't see it as an issue. Why are you feeling like this? Because the truth is not mm. the packing. Mm. There's more stuff. So mm. ask, what is it? Mm. And obviously she found out that she's feeling good. You know what? This land, the land that you're packing in, it should, probably should be my land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes. We found the issue. So you want the land. <laughs> oh. So that is what she's angry about. Mm. And which is why I always say people mm. should buy the book and start to heal that story mm. because that is a very, very serious story. She's actually angry about the land. She's like, <laughs> damn it! That land that you don't want me to pack is probably mine. mine. And, and I've been saying this because I don't want the land. <laughs> and my reason is simple. You know, for, for a long time, like every other person that I've had the land story, I was also like, yes, the land, the land, the land, the land. And then one time we went on a holiday, my whole family, and then we got into a, a game drive. Um, so it was a, a probably a four hour. It was a long game drive. We were going to go hectares and hectares and hectares and hectares looking at game and all that. So we get into this um, obviously it's bumpy, it's not terror, so it's going to go, go, go. so we see the giraffes. We see, we see, we see, we see, we see. You know, two hours later I'm like to my husband. So the person who owns this farm has almost about every other day has to go around all of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> businesses I know that if you run a business you need to understand it so well so if you have that much of a farm you need to be there and I'm like definitely there's no tarot there so he goes into this thing yes. oh we are <laughs> yes Bridget, thank you for reminding us <laughs> so um, yes yes I think I have a problem with receiving okay when somebody does something for me, I feel like I have to sort of return. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's like he had to show appreciation to them. Yeah. By like giving them something. You don't for you to do. It's so I like thank you is not appreciation. I thank you is not appreciation. Saying and thank you. I, I appreciate if a person says thank you, I get it. It's fine. But when I say thank you, it's like it's not enough. Really yeah, like I'm always so like that. Do something for the other person. I feel like you're owing them something. And now I have a feeling of feeling like you owe. So that's why you uh, end up shutting. Because you don't want to owe people. Because it means if people give to, come on, if they give you one million, how can you pay them back? You know, no. <laughs> so, so that, that's my challenge. But if challenge. you gave somebody one million, would you want it back? If you gave them, just for. Not if I gave, no. Yes. They borrowed something else. So then you need to ask the question why is it that I don't want to receive? Okay. Because. There must be a reason why you don't yeah. want to receive because you probably may be thinking that I'm not worth receiving, mm -hmm. so you don't want to receive. I rather pay them back yeah. so that I don't receive. Because mm -hmm. well, if you pay them back, it means you don't take what they're giving you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but so because it, it might come, but then you need to bring, yeah. give them back. So why don't I want? So am I worth receiving? Am I worth receiving? So ask you that question: Am I worth receiving? Because then you will start to say, I oh, know I'm worth receiving. You'll go out here and be like, hey, I'm waiting for someone to give me something. To give me. I'm worth receiving. I'm worth receiving. Where can, who can I give me something? It's not a matter of, I think I don't want to receive because I always want to give other people. Hey. And it's never enough to give. And even the people that give, they're not, they're not always satisfied with whatever. Even the amount of money. All of a sudden, you bring tomatoes, yeah. people are happy. And when you were bringing all sorts of things, people were like, well, yeah, whatever. So, why do you... So, number one, you, you have two. Because you want to just give, 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 give. Why are you giving them? What are, what are you trying to get them to understand? Maybe you, maybe you want them to notice you. Maybe you want them to, to honor you. Maybe you want them to recognize you. Mm. Mm. Because, I mean, there's one lady that was definitely giving her boyfriend all the money because he just was like, well, all the other women are broke. I'm the one with the money. He will take the money and go to the other ones. It did not work. Mm. So the money is not going to bring the appreciation. And the one thing is that when you need somebody to appreciate you, it just means that you don't have it from your side. Because when you have it, you wouldn't need it. Mm -hmm. So now what you need to do is work on you, appreciating yourself. So start by thinking, how can I appreciate myself? Because mm -hmm. all of a sudden, then you, you forget about all the people in the world that can appreciate you. Then you worry about actually the important thing, appreciating you. Mm -hmm. How can I recognize me? Maybe it's just going and taking yourself for a walk. I'm recognizing me because I'm going to walk for three kilometers all by myself mm. and just get to know me, you know, um, get to that, that, that. I never used to be able to stay in the house alone because I just couldn't be able to stay with me. And now I can stay for four days without talking to anyone in a silent retreat. And that's when you're really with yourself. <laughs> but ask why am I, mm. how can I recognize myself, then, then you, the answer will come. Sit in meditation, quiet, how can I recognize myself, then it will come. Mm. Whatever that comes, do that. Whatever that comes, do that. The more you focus on that, you will never find the reason to give anybody money. Mm. You will be shocked. Money, the, the, the month start to finish, you have not given anybody money. Yeah. <laughs> but you are doing mm. you. Because that is why you would probably give them money so that they can say, Oh, thank you. Oh, we love you. And then five seconds later, they've forgotten that they love you. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so, how can I recognize me? How can I um, appreciate me? How can I, um, whatever that you feel that you need them, when you give them money, you expect from them, then you ask, How can I do that? Then the answer will come. It will come, in, it will be like, how, maybe I could just go put controls on my hair. Mm. Then that's it. Then take that. I cannot even tell you how you can appreciate yourself. It will come to you. The, the way that will make sense to you. And then if you don't want money, 
money back when you give to people, then definitely people don't want anything from, back from you. But then also recognize the fact that why don't I want to receive? Well, if I'm not recognizing myself, then I'm definitely not worthy. Yeah, but now we are connect. So start there. How can I recognize myself? Ask the question. It will come to you. It will come. And when you get it, even if you can't do it now, write it down. And focus on that. Keep asking, how can I recall? Every time you feel the feeling that I need to give the money, or you feel guilt about not giving the money, ask. Just ask, the, how can I recognize myself? When you're driving, how can I appreciate and myself? the worst part is even if someone maybe wants the money and I don't have, I'll go oh, and, and borrow it somewhere. And borrow it you, see, it's a, you, see, mm-hmm. you see how that is an issue? Because you can't say no. So, you know what? When you tell people, I don't have, you will be surprised. Three days later, they will tell you, I'm not tall. I'm not tall. I'm not tall. But good. So, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys for tuning in. We really enjoyed your presence here. We felt you all the way. So, guys.